Well, hello there. Here's a tutorial on how to create this kind of speckled plastic that you see kind of everywhere at the moment. And here and here and here and here and here and so forth. Let's dig into Keyshot and see how you create this kind of appearance. Inside Keyshot, double click on the material where you want to add the speckles to. Go to the uh, texture tab and select the diffuse channel. Here in the texture drop down, select none and go down and pick the one called spots. And as you see, we're already getting there pretty fast. Now we just have to adjust the different parameters of this uh, procedural texture to get the look that we want. First of all, you can adjust the scale that will uh, scale the entire texture down to make it smaller. You can adjust the colors. So the background color, we want a bit of a lighter gray like this. And for the spots, you can do like a crazy color or for now, let's just keep it at 15% black or something like that. You can change the shape of these uh, dots from circular to square to diamonds. And for this one, I want to keep it at the circular shape. The density defines how many of these uh, specs we have got. So if you turn that up, you will get more and more specs. The radius defines the uh, shape or the size of individual specs. Um, and I think I will stick with something like this. The fall off defines uh, like a gradient uh, on the edges of these spots. So if we take the fall off up, you can see that it fades uh, quite a lot towards the edges. Um, so also for this one, I want to keep it at 0.1. I think that looks good. The distortion will add some variance to the shape, make them less perfect. Um, and you can open up this distortion drop down and also adjust the distortion scale if you want it to be a bit more crazy. I think I will go with something like this, 0.8 approximately and 0.4 for the distortion. Cool. Then there's this uh, level slider. And if you bump that up, you get another label. Like uh, it takes all these parameters make a copy and add it in as a new layer. And there are some options in here as well you can adjust. This level scale defines the size of the new layer. If it's at one, you will get the exact same shape. And uh, if it's at two, you will get half the size of these settings. Uh, if it's at 0.5, you'll get the double the size, okay? So for this one, I want to have it slightly smaller like this. And if you adjust this intensity multiplier, make it upwards, you can see that the new level uh, is kind of faded. So if you add in another level and another level, it it's get fainter and fainter and also getting smaller and smaller by a factor of, uh, of 1.3. Just in case you want that for your design, okay? For this one, I want to stick with a level of two at level scale 1.3. And that's basically it. I want to adjust the scale down. You can get creative with this in several ways. And I want to show you a few examples. So I open up the material graph and um, you can see the spots texture here. And here's a bump map that I had uh, applied to the material prior to this tutorial. I want to have some fun with the colors of these uh, spots in the background. So I right click in the graph and add in a color gradient. I hit C in the keyboard to see the raw color information. And I think this looks pretty good. It's going from white to black. And uh, the only thing I want to adjust is maybe to move it a bit down here in the model. So I select the move texture and drag it towards uh, this end. And hit OK. And then I apply this color gradient to the background of our spots texture. So now the background fades from white to black while the spots are still black or the same color all the way down. We could do something uh, fun if we uh, take the gradient, add into the color and right click the connection, go to utilities and add in a color inward. Um, so what that does is to, uh, let me just like this. 
takes the color gradient, invert it, and add it to the uh, to the spots. So now we the spots are fading in the opposite direction as the background. So probably not a beautiful design at the moment, but I hope it in inspires you to how you can set up things in the graph in general. That's it from me this time. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share if you want to see more like this in the future. Until next time, take care.